Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt on Just Her Fun. I'm going <clears> to <throat> play with some of my Mardu, uh, Mardu Aristocrats deck. I'm just kicking it around. Not completely set on my list yet, but we'll see. We're still in the testing phase, so I'll let you in on some of my testing here. Still adjusting the numbers. The basic concept is... Um, you know, s sacrifice for benefits and then uh, rally is kind of a combo kill. Alright, so it looks like we might be up against some kind of ally deck. Sorry, I can't really find the comfortable setting for this right now. Ooh, okay. Well, that's in my deck too. Cutthroat is a key card in the Aristocrat style deck. Actually, now that means you can play eight Blood Artists in uh, <laughs> Modern, so that's kind of cool. All right, so Blood Soak Champion does a lot of work in the deck. Lets you activate Butcher multiple times, Drain with Zulaport multiple times, um, Nantuko Husk, you know, a whole bunch. This thing is like bent or something. I'm really uncomfortable. All right. So we're off to a mildly aggressive start. We've got Crackling Doom available next turn if we want it. And then, you know, if we draw fourth land, we can go. Crackling Doom into Butcher of the Horde, and that will be very powerful with these champions out already. Dash Mardu Shadow Spear. Okay, so maybe this is a warrior deck? Thought it was allies with that ally encampment. Okay, well, we can't block. So we take two, hmm. Yeah, we don't really need to Crackling Doom here, so I'm just gonna play the Scoured Barons. Gain a life. Attack with these two. All right, we get in for four, pass the turn. So Butcher with Haste is going to be pretty good, especially if opponent taps out. Ruthless Ripper, okay. So opponent trying to stay low to the ground. A giant flying demon seems pretty good against that strategy gotta say right all right so he dashes that guy again and gets in with that guy okay okay choose blockers no locks bloodstained mire is a nice one yeah, so we have two white for rally. And we'll have red, black. Yeah, we got pretty much everything we need. Butcher. Let's eat one to give it haste. I don't think we need to lifelink it that badly. So let's just do that. I don't really want to attack with the champion because I want it there to give the other butcher haste next turn.
Munda, okay. So what does this do? Look at the top four cards and then put any allies on top and other cards on the bottom. That's not even good. I mean, I guess that ensures that you're drawing action, but I don't know. It doesn't even put them in your hand or anything. It's just like, okay, Zulapar cut through and uh, Drana. Okay. This is Mardu allies, the double strike guy is the scariest guy in that <laughs> in that deck. I would assume he's in there somewhere. I mean, easily the scariest creature in allies. Yeah, I mean, I don't even care about any of what you're doing. I can just basically ignore what you're doing because I have all this flying power coming at you. And like I could give it lifelink if I want. Um, like or I could just play the other butcher which doesn't seem bad either or I could just crackling doom you. I have five, ooh, here's what I'll do. All right, so let's fetch a swamp. We're gonna attack both of these. We will get back our blood soaked champion we will sack him again and we'll give this a lifelink. We'll deal seven to our opponent. And then Crackling Doom. Okay, you're at two. Okay, you're at three, big whoop. Good luck. That seems like it was a pretty good turn. <laughs> and then next turn, the second Butcher can come out of nowhere if he needs to. Drana, okay, which is probably going to be a chump blocker here. Yep. He definitely should have attacked with uh, one of those, I think. Um, okay. So let's go white. Oh, I still have the shambling vents I totally forgot about. <laughs> let's do that. Let's sack that guy and we win so turn six not bad ignored everything our opponent did um, our opponent did not show me any removal um so I think Rally is still good here. So yeah, let's um let's keep it going. We're we're pretty loosely based on r Rally. I mean, it's just, just just kind of like a not even a backup plan as like a, as reach. It's really just like a fireball kind of effect in the deck. Um Er, we have no one or two drop and no white um, and two white sp three white spells that is really really rough um, yeah I'm gonna mulligan that hand I don't think it's good enough that hand is even worse 
unfortunately, because of the two rallies. Um, all right. Um, I mean, that could get us out of trouble somehow, but. I think I might take the rallies out completely, even though, again, they work really, they're the kind of combo element in the deck. Um, so there's that, but they, um, Sometimes they're just dead until really late in the game, and like, like I never want it in my opening hand. Yeah, and then I draw a second one, and now I'm like in really deep, deep doo doo. Okay, our opponent randomly conceded the game there. That was weird. Uh, let's try another match. <laughs> 